Assalamu alaikum. I'm sat here with all the children that are housed here in the Ummah Welfare Academy and they're all the effectees of the floods. Um, and basically they're housed in the hostels and they all have a separate story. Each one uh, more hurtful and more emotional than the previous one. All the children that you see around me, uh, by the side of me, they've all been affected. They all have a story to tell. Uh, and we can't go through all of them, but the child that I have sat next to me is called Shakir. Shakir, It's called Shakir. He's one of four children. Uh, and basically, he's going to tell me in his mother language, which is Pushto, of the event that occurred when the water came to his house. Shakir, that's who it's very it's very touching very hard obviously because everybody here has um, lost a father or a mother or have basically lost both um, including their house and all the other belongings that were inside it so it might become very difficult to for him to explain himself but if i could just explain um this little child here he was he was at home when the uh, just before the the flood came um and he, him his mother his father and his um, three siblings um now his father had already injured uh, injured his leg in a in an accident and he had like a steel rod supporting his um, supporting his leg now, when the water came, uh, he, he tried to dash out basically and try to help his children. Now, as he got up, uh, the support on his leg, bit, uh, it cracked and it gave way. So he, he was able to move. And he basically said to his child, now it's very, very difficult. I'm trying to hold back my, uh, my tears and emotions. But he basically said to his wife that you take the children and leave me here. Now. According to his uh, son here that sat next to me, he said that we saw the water take our father away in front of our own eyes. And, you know, for a child of his age, uh, you know, this is going to stay with him for the rest of his life as he's growing up. That scene uh, of the water taking his father and him witnessing the, the, the death of his father in front of his eyes is going to be with him forever and ever and ever. But like I said, each child here has a separate story to tell. This is the story of one child. There's millions of other stories. And these are the people that we've come here to help on behalf of Umar Welfare Trust. Um, so many people that had everything have got absolutely nothing. And it was, all, it was only in the space of minutes that they lost absolutely everything. Children, livestock, families, homes, the only things that they have in their possession is the clothes that are on their back. And we've housed them in the various hostels that we have and in the tents outside. We provide them with food, with medication, with money. And what we do every, every evening after Isha Salah is we gather all the children together and we basically give them sweets and chocolates and drinks uh, just to sit with them and try to take away the the pain which is in their heart but so, every day it's it's just a, another sad day it's another it's another story and each person says when's my father gonna come when's my mother gonna come when are we gonna go back home uh, uncle who's gonna come to help us and these are the people that we've come to help